everybody, Kate back with you talking about great ways to use split screen for your curriculum. So you can split screen uh, the home screen of your new line Q series panel. It's amazing. So give it a try. Of course, you can access the quick settings menu through the two finger flick up, or I'm going to go ahead and just press uh, on the right side of your panel. You have a pancake menu with three pancakes and there is my quick settings menu. And I'll say in the last video, we were talking about potentially going through like a document in the browser and using our onboard annotations tool uh, to in, write and engage with your uh, curriculum and content. We're going to do it a little bit different this time. So what we're going to do, we'll go back into split screen. I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to choose my online content. So I'm grabbing Chromium. Again, I do that just because we have usually so many things that we're pulling from the web. So whether it's videos, uh, you know, other content that we may have created or anything like that, uh, we can go ahead and get that connected. And then I'm also gonna scroll over to so something just a little bit more unique. Uh, I'm gonna keep going over until I get to my new line Engage cloud platform. Uh, so um, yes. I'm gonna pause my video. I also could pull up if I have an online book or a journal article or something of that sort. So if you haven't checked out New Line Engage, this is our cloud-based lesson creation and whiteboarding software does have an app that is baked into the firmware on your Q-Series panel. You can find it under apps. Check it out. It's a lot of fun, but I'm going to go into manage um, just because I went ahead and pulled something up. When I go into manage, I can see my board library. So I'm going to shuffle on down and hit the eyeball and then just pull up the last document I was working with, which is really handy. So I'm going to pan and zoom and bring this in, uh, make it a little bit smaller. And the neat thing about this is if I wanted to go through, this is actually one of our mind maps. So we have mind maps in our gizmos. If you haven't checked them out, I definitely recommend it. It's just um, all these little guys over on the right. You can find your mind map. So if you're working with a bibliography, story process, whatever it may be. But now if I'm reading a story, this thing, or if I'm watching a story, uh, whatever it may be, you always have that student that's like, is there a video version of this book? Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I could get through that. Uh, so whatever students you have, you'll be fine. Uh, but the great thing about this is when you are grabbing content and kind of moving it back and forth and filling out, again, you can import worksheets and things of that sort. And of course, we have a lot of built-in content as well. It also makes it very easy because Engage has its own built-in annotations. So uh, if I wanted to go ahead and fill this out while I'm Unless watching. Unless the library is with sick and green, a number of fools do wear it, cast it off. I can go ahead and do so. So I can keep writing, I can do whatever. Um, and this is a very fluid option if you're going to keep adding content. And the great thing is, is that this is gonna build into, you know, more examples or more lesson. All I have to do is just tap my little page over button down here, and then I'm actually gonna get an additional page to keep going. And I can still bring in content should I want to. So of course, bringing it in uh, from my, engage platform or if I wanted to I can go ahead and upload additional things from my panel into the the platform here so very very fluid I can grab online books obviously online videos and then um, do any worksheets or whiteboarding or anything else uh, that I may want to bring in so very very handy just another FYI tip on these uh, as you can actually go right into full screen mode very easy with a touch of the button down at the bottom so you can transfer over very quick. So hopefully that one uh, was just another great example of how you can really manipulate this panel to work for you, especially when you're using split screen mode. Check it out. Check out New Line Engage. We have a whole video series on that in and of itself, and we are here for you. Please keep the questions coming. If there's anything additional we can do for you, reach out. Thanks.